Hi guys, it's been a while. I've missed uh, about two weeks of uploading, but there's good reason. <laughs> I've been finding it a little bit much being on social media and so I kind of stopped with most of my social media for a while. And I've come to the conclusion that I'm gonna kind of change things up a little bit and I've been really, really struggling with some of the comments that I've been getting and I struggle with my mental health quite a lot so I'm going to um, make sure that I don't put any kind of bum flash videos in my public YouTube and I am also stopping doing my um, paid OnlyFans membership because it's just a lot of people are really really nice and really kind and really thoughtful but then there are some people that I really struggle with coping with your comments and I mean a lot of them they're not bad comments it's just the way that I'm kind of perceiving them and yeah so I, I had to mix it up a bit so if you're after anything that's a little bit more badly edited <laughs> essentially where I've been wearing a skirt and I've missed a little shot or I don't know um, you will more than likely find those on my uh, members YouTube part I've actually taken down a couple of videos that were public and I put them on my members only instead um, just so that I kind of keep that a bit separate and just so that I can kind of manage it a little bit better with the with the comments that I receive and yeah so I thought I, it'd be good I thought it would be good to just explain all of this so that you understand what I'm doing and why I'm doing it and that I'm not completely stopping some of the things that I was doing um, it's just that these bits are gonna have to be paid for if you want those parts of me in my channel I'm still gonna be uploading on this channel but I am also gonna reduce it to one video a week just so that I can have a bit of me time and calm myself down because it's been it's been a lot I've been doing way too much and it's just caught up with me and I ended up just not uploading anything and not videoing anything which it kind of bothered me because I want it I do want to upload things I like I really enjoy editing I really enjoy doing the videos but you know my mental health is a little bit more important than putting a video up yeah, I'm gonna get back to it anyway and do a cleaning video today. I've got quite a bit to clean up and I might show you a few of the things that I have been up to. So thank you for being here. If you are still happy to be subscribed to me <laughs> um, or if you want to see more videos like this one, make sure to click that subscribe button. Give me a big thumbs up, help encourage me a little bit more <laughs> and um, Leave a comment below. I, was, I knew there was something else and I couldn't remember what it was. Leave a comment below. I do like hearing your comments and, and being able to have a bit of a talk to you. So let's get going and let's do a little bit of cleaning. I've got to hang some washing out first because it's gonna be a little bit of a heat wave apparently over the next kind of week maybe. So it's not supposed to rain but I also need to mow the grass and clean inside the house as well, obviously. But um, let's do the washing first. <laughs>
So my kitchen always needs cleaning. No matter how much I clean, it's like immediately after it becomes messy again with everybody getting things out and using everything. So I'm always cleaning my kitchen. I've actually decided to give my chicken a little bit of a wipe as well because that seems to have got a bit of grease all over it. But yeah, um, I actually got my chicken, my blue chicken from my dad. He collected loads and loads of chickens and this was the one that I always had my eye on. And so he let me have this blue chicken and I absolutely love it for putting all my eggs in. It, I, I don't like putting my eggs in the fridge because I find that when you try to cook them once they've been in the fridge it just cooks them a bit different to when they're room temperature so I always keep my eggs in my little chicken and I always think you know they wouldn't have made these chickens if you were supposed to constantly put them in the fridge but then again they put things in the fridge for eggs as well so I don't know uh, let me know what you do do you keep your eggs in the fridge or do you keep your eggs um, on the side some washing that kind of side of the kitchen it'll probably get messy again but that's done I actually made some jam the other day elderflower jam I was hoping I'd get more but I didn't want any of the seeds and things so I've like taken all of those out but I made some elderflower jam so I'm gonna have some jam on toast <laughs> So our table is also another place that always gets used quite often but I'm getting a bit fed up of having my um, tree in the middle of it so we're going to move that and I'm hoping that I can find some like fake autumn leaves that we can hopefully peg on it at some point. Uh, I did actually move this into the living room and then I moved what I had on the living room um, kind of display table area into the kitchen and I feel like it's so much nicer it's it's less pokey when you're trying to reach over and do things it's also the end of the month and so well the beginning of the of the month end of month beginning of the month so I am also taking all the kids artwork and worksheets down off the wall because 
they need to start again every every month we start again putting all the all of their work on the display board because I think it's a lovely thing to be able to display it and be able to see what they've actually been up to for the month and it also encourages me with home education and knowing that they've actually been doing things and learning things so I always take a picture of it at the very end of the month or the beginning of the month depending on when I get round to to moving things so that I can document it Lose control Rent a car you can't afford Put on something we both know Let your hair out in the wind Put the pedal to the floor Play your light and take a smoke Put your broken rip off Wafers on Doesn't matter if the sun goes down We'll still be up, still be up Don't care about the place we found We'll still be up, still be up We're in this together We both fall down Doesn't matter if the sun goes down when the lights out I've also got the energy I'm just completely cleaning the kitchen today and I've also got the energy to clean my laundry area quite often I kind of skip this part of cleaning but I'm trying my best to keep on top of it and stop it from accumulating lots of random things through the house it's kind of a little bit of a, a dumping table for us I do my hair here and I also just plonk loads and loads of stuff here so um, yeah it's it's always really nice and you know that I've cleaned the house when the laundry area is actually nice and clean and tidy like you used to be I've also decided to put my money money box, my little pig in, I say little, it's a pretty pretty huge pig um, on this table as well because it was just kind of hidden on one of the windowsills and so I kept collecting change and it kept being put on the shelves and things in the laundry area, all the like two peas and five peas and things. So I thought it's a better option to kind of move it onto my laundry area where all the change is ending up anyway so then it just goes straight into the correct place
and now my laundry area is clean I can actually do my laundry yay <laughs> so um, I've got a big big uh, box full down the bottom I didn't actually put all of this folding the laundry in this video because I, I find it's very repetitive just the folding process and so I didn't I didn't film it all Washing the pots is always a must. Every day, every day is a pot washing day. Although sometimes if I forget, then it just gets chaotic with the amount of pots. You know, some, sometimes you just really don't want to do it. So sometimes I don't bother. But, but today is a day where I am making sure that all the pots are done. There aren't actually too many here and I was on a roll at cleaning the kitchen so once I'd done this the kitchen looked beautiful for five minutes anyway before everybody came in and started making mess again. like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button I also love to hear all your comments so make sure to comment that you've been here and you've been watching because I love to know who's been watching as well but thank you for being here and thank you for watching thank you to all of my superstars that are are subscribed to my membership and thank you to everybody else that's subscribed to other memberships that I have Make sure to check it in the description if you want to know more about my memberships and become a member. I will see you again soon. Bye.